Miami. Wow. It's time for the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. To me, there's nothing better than to spend all of my time out on the water. With waterman Eric Brandon. Because that's where I get my kicks out on the water. And extreme angler Joe Hector. Hey, it's my residence. Call your resident fishing experts, Eric and Joe, at 866-801-0940 and get hooked up. You know what we be spending our weekend. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Don't want to waste my time or a single dime on something high and dry out on the water. Want to see the show live? Go to the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. We say hey, welcome to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show on a bright Saturday morning. Hello, Jim and Joe. Uh, Hector, baby. That was good. Thank you, man. Was nice. I like that. Better than last week when you chided me about that a little bit. Yeah. You said I wasn't on my game last week. Well, the, no, I just you didn't. I didn't get the full intro, so I felt a little odd. Do you feel? Do you feel it this morning? I feel it. I, I feel, feel like it. a great show's coming up today. I man. do too. I like your shirt. Thanks, bro. What's Compared it say? to last weekend's uh, fish eyeball, which you busted my chops about. Wow. Yeah, this is a uh, fishy, 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 fishy. It's I like a, that. It's, it's a fishing it's show. Better than an eyeball. Yeah, the eyeball was kind of uh, kind of weird, kind of whack, but kind of like an alien thing. <laughs> It's cool. We got a cool show coming up, man. Uh, yeah, Captain's Galore. We have Captain Bouncer in the first slot because Jimbo Thomas is sort of taking a little break today. Right. So we have him coming up. He fished last night with uh, Pat Utter from uh, Shenanigans. They had a good uh, little field night out there catching all kinds of stuff. Okay. And a very cool dis- demonstration today. I already remember my first screw up here. Demonstration of a Simrad NSS Evo 3S 16 inch Fish Finder GPS thing. You just nailed it. Thank you, bro. That was not easy. That was a mouthful, right? I would have been like... Lalalala. And uh, a Simrad expert, Grant Lester, is driving way the hell out here to Ooh. actually do this demo on camera. Today. That's cool. We've never attempted to have electronics live on the show. I love it. And you know that the screen with the frequency gives you kind of a weird washout, right? Right. Stephen J. Gray's actually got these amazing cameras everywhere. It, it looks like a high-tech NASA yeah. building here, man. I like it. Right? Yeah, it looks Pretty nice. Cool. I like that, that camera's funky but cool looking. It's funky. It's actually too damn close to my face and it's kind of nah. bothering me. I hope he has the wrinkle lens on today. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I think I put yeah. that one up there. I mean, I think is that a light on top too? Yeah. Yes it is. Dude, yeah. Wow. And it'll talk to you too. I'm sure. Does it say yes, commander? Uh, you catch, no. You catch okay. this big story? Uh there's a cannibal that came home late for dinner to his family. You hear about that? No. Yeah. Uh-huh. When he got home, uh, he got the cold shoulder. Is that a joke? Yeah. <laughs> a little early for jokes. Uh, that went down real bad. He got the cold shoulder. Oh, yeah. my god. He was late for dinner. He got the cold shoulder. Okay. Moving on. Well, moving guys on. got that? Let's go ahead and uh, see what Captain Boucher Smith is doing <laughs> oh besides my, my, my lame-ass jokes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. I thought I'd try a little something new. No, it was little, good. You know, a little jovial humor this time. Yeah, of the morning. It, was so it was bad. Good. It was good. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Cap, uh, you're up this morning talking to us. What's happening, oh, man? Oh, boy. I thought that joke was great, man. Thanks, Cap. He's the only one that yeah. did. Yeah, there Cap, you go. Cap's got my back, man. See? How about that? It's, it's good. <laughs> so, Cap, you were fishing last night, and you got uh, some catches, or what you guys do? Yeah, we had a tough night. We were tarpon fishing, and I had talked to another real good captain at 5 o'clock. He said it's been real slow, and boy, it was slow. We did catch a real nice Jack Cavall and a snapper and jump up a big lady fish, but it was a tough night. We were using live shrimp and crabs. When you can't get a bite on live shrimp, you know things are slow. By the way, Captain Bouncer, it looks like he caught something different than he normally catches, a a (laughs) bottle of Malibu. What what is going on with that? I took your Uh. picture from Shenanigans Camp with you in the Malibu. Uh, have a little happy time there. It's up on the Facebook stream, and you look mighty happy there in that photo, buddy. Yeah. Huh? Right? Oh, uh, that was a really good evening. I went to Steve Am- Steve and Arlene Amaranth's house, and they cooked us up some nice steaks, and and we just had a great evening just telling fish stories and catching up on life. Really, really a great evening. I can't thank them enough. And, and uh, we had Louise Bateman there from Fred Lou Bait and Tackle. Years gone by. After a lot of your listeners remember Fred and Louise, they were really a sweet couple. They were relay one in all the tournaments. They actually would the boats that were fishing off of Miami couldn't reach Fort Lauderdale, 
So the, uh, the bait shop would relay all the catch reports up to the tournament headquarters to call in the catches. Had some really good times, though. But, uh, Outstanding. It's been an interesting week. I went, uh, I went offshore fishing, and we caught a kingfish trolling on a planer with a sea witch and a bonita strip. And we did some slow pitching, and we caught the world's smallest snow grouper. <laughs> and we caught the guy, the, the one guy, his grandson, loves smoked fish. And, and we caught the perfect size amberjack just over the legal limit. They got to be at 28 inch fork length. And this was 29 inches, which makes it perfect for smoking. And uh, then we caught a big shark. Nothing new about that around here lately. Yeah, buddy. And uh, <laughs> then we went tile fishing, and we caught a real nice tile fish. So that was really interesting. And then I went up to Lake Osborne, fished with Bill LaPree and, uh, and Nick Cardella. And, boy, did we catch largemouth bass. So, I mean, one after another. It was really, really good. And we picked up one peacock bass, and I caught my second ever clown knife fish. So we had a really, really good trip. And then we went tarpon fishing last night, and they just pulled up to the dock to go fishing again today. So we'll have to see what comes. Nice. Not a shabby situation. Yeah. Glad to have Bowser back down here in his yeah. grounds, right? Yeah. yeah. I got to also throw... Uh Bill Lapree, uh, a shout out. He uh, he's been really helping with uh, promoting our exotic tournament coming up. So he's he's a really good guy. We'll really talk about guy. that in greater detail because yeah. uh, Lord knows the things right around a bend for you, man. Yeah. Right? right? He he kills it, man. I mean, uh, I mean, Captain Bouncer, you know. I mean, he's 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 throwing up photos of these clown knife fish monsters. I mean, just. Just killing it out there. Wait till Sean Rolls comes up, by the way. He had some cloud knife activity oh, I, yeah. yesterday, okay, in his kayak. Yeah. Uh, trolling yeah. artificials and no candy, my man, okay? Ha ha. That's well, right. Candy is good. Dude. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> he caught the clown knife fish without candy? Yeah, he was pulling. Uh, I'm letting Sean tell the story, but there was no candy involved. Put it that way, okay? Wow. How about that? For wow. talent, man, yeah. So, huh. Eric, I got two two very important questions for you. Sure. One, why in the world would you cut all your hair off? <laughs> yeah. That picture was... Uh... It was an April Fool's gag. I photoshopped my hair off my head and said I'm basically coming out of the, of the hair closet. You mean I bought that dulling spray for nothing, Eric? <laughs> yes, Kevin. What's the question number two? I'm sorry. I missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> your guys' voices are a little bit too strange as one. But are you really sitting there with Joe? Yes, we're sitting here actually too close. Uh, he's really, really close on the guest couch today. What? I feel loving you're just, today. You're just, you're just creeping into my space, man, dude. I was all excited because I really thought it, it explained uh, everything with you being bald. I thought, you know, we, we figured no. out that it was a toupee. Hey, homie. It's I'm just re- saying. It's the real deal, pal. I, okay? I guess it is. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I was like, oh, that explains it. Uh, all right. yeah. How long are you in town for before you go back to Georgia? Oh, I got uh, I got to go to Ralph Brown's uh, celebration of life tomorrow, okay. and then uh, we- Wednesday we we take some satellite tag some swordfish uh, last May, and we got the results. We're gonna have a result meeting Wednesday night, and then I'll be going back to Georgia for a whole week to ten days, and then I got to come back down here, and I have to go fishing again. Oh, uh, poor guy, man. Life, I mean, uh, well, Captain. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that the way it looks for today, it's going to be light winds, some scattered showers. Uh, there was a real nice rip with a little bit of current the other day. Uh, the guy I was with last night during the day yesterday caught three sails. So there are some sails around, but he did not catch any bycatch. He had three bites, caught three sailfish. Mm. Uh, I thought there'd be some dolphin with all that wind, but no dolphin. And the uh, football tunas are still biting pretty good trolling. Nice. But the big tunas have been a little bit absent this week. So we got to see what this weekend comes. Calm weather, but a chance of rain. So get out there and enjoy the weekend. I know I'm really looking forward to having a whole lot of fun myself. We've got about one minute for the break here, Cap. But a special guest coming up this morning talking about the new Simrad uh, Evo 3 NSS 3 or 
I got that right, I believe it is. Yeah. I know I've been on your boat many times back on the Bouncer Dusky 33, so you use those Simrads. Man, what amazing machines they are, Cap, huh? Uh, the, I want to listen to this challenge of talking marine electronics on the radio, but then that is the best equipment. I think that Simrad was the best I ever had, so listen close. You may learn something, and uh, boy, have a good time. So I, hey, Eric, before I go, one other piece of electronics I have to mention, and it's a competitor of Simrad, but I was introduced to a tool this week called a Garmin InReach. And this is a little gizmo. It's only, God, it's only a couple inches long and an inch and a half wide. But my buddy was 110 miles offshore, and we were texting back and forth all day. If you're a serious boater, you ought to consider about looking into this Garmin inReach. Yeah. You hang it from the T-top, and you can always get help if you need it. You know, Cap, we're harping on Simrad. You brought up uh, the G unit, but uh, that was a great segue. But thank you very much, Nod. All right, have a great uh, weekend, Cap. Good talking to you, my friend. See you, Captain. You betcha. Have a great one. We'll be, be well. listening to Thanks. you on our radio. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to take a momentary pause there for a second. <laughs> oh, I see smoke coming off uh, your head. I'm going to digest that <laughs> little wrap there. Uh, take a break here. But, but not a simu- that's not even a similar unit, so I I don't get it, but whatever. What, whatever. So the show rolling, and uh, we have uh, Alan Zarebe coming up next. Okay. He carries a Simrad on his boat, by the way. <laughs> right here at Fox Sports 940. Good morning, Live. Here we go. <laughs> If you're wanting to spend more time on the water, then check out the new 2022 lineup of Sailfish Center console, dual console, and walk-around boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, and the new 272 Center console and 27 dual console continue this proud offshore heritage. With head-turning styling, top-tier construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish boats feature the legendary deep V variable degree-stepped hull, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features that make Sailfish the best value among upper tier brands, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, roomy heads, plenty of storage, solid construction, and incredible performance all make Sailfish boats a must-see. Fishing-focused and family-friendly, Sailfish boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon wakeboarding with the kids, and a sunset cruise with friends, all with one boat. So if you're in the market for a new boat, the entire Sailfish line is specially priced, making this the best time to join the Sailfish family. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information or to find a Sailfish dealer near you. South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen, where yacht grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own blue water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a blue water. No outboard moves from zero to top speed quicker than a Mercury V8 300 horsepower Pro XS. Featuring generous displacement and a performance-tuned powerhead for industry-leading acceleration and top speed. In South Florida, the 300 horsepower Pro XS is perfect for bay and flats boats when you need to cover a lot of water fast. Pro XS simply can't be beat when it comes to performance and reliability. The 300 horsepower Pro XS has everything you need to travel faster, farther, and harder. Hear that? That's the sound of confidence. The sound of confidence brought to you by Nationwide Battery. For over 30 years, boaters and fishermen have counted on Nationwide to fire up their engines, to keep their electronics going, week after week, year after year. They have the largest selection of batteries at the best prices. With dockside installation available, if you count on your boat, then count on Nationwide Battery. Visit them at nationwide-battery.com. Nationwide Batteries, the sound of confidence. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. 
Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Hello, this is Discover, and we take customer service very seriously. You got a little time, gentlemen, if you want to say good morning to anybody here. Hello. 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 The feed's quite uh, streamy this morning, which is nice to see everybody yeah. happening. Ozzy and Chill, always first man, catching this bass before me, robbing my territory on my lake. Your buddy Elon Talbert, what's up, dude? Clark Morning, Taylor. Elon. Taylor, howdy, howdy. Uh, John Bartolo made a very fun, uh, funny comment. I won't repeat that. Uh, Richard Hector, I know that man very well. That's uh, ah. Pops. Is old. Pop, your dad's always just a fan, man. What a great guy. Yeah. He changed his profile photo quite often. It goes from either him, a full shot of dad, or his boat. Right. It's one or the other. That's one or the other. <laughs> like a either he's in love with his boat that day or it's basically <laughs> him. You know, so I, I don't know, Richard, what your deal is, man, but just keep knowing what you're doing, man. That's you know great. I mean? Pops uh. is loving his boat, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Brent morning guys, too late to the party. A little late to the party. No man, we just kicked out of this party, man. We're just we're just grooving, baby. <laughs> You're listening to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fish. You're listening to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I know everybody says money can't buy happiness, but it can buy me a boat. Powered by Mercury Marine. It can buy me a truck. A pull it. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. And the fishing buddies everybody needs. Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. You're hooked into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Bad to the bone. Welcome back to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Oh, my good buddy, Jam and Joe. Never said hi to Steve and Jake Gray yet, have we? I did. Uh, You did. Yeah, what a hater, man. Good morning, gentlemen. Wow. Hey, um, I don't want to be, like, uh, you know, know, stirring things up here, but noticing the elephant in the studio this morning, at least on set, uh, Joe, look to your left there. Is there a reason why Eric brought a fishing rod this morning to the show? I think because he thinks maybe that we'll catch something. Or... <laughs> no, because I'm tired of you guys busting my ass about having my rod with me. So I said, you know what, today I'll bring that back. I, I'm like, what's going on here, and bro? It cuts all the arguments out, and now I got myself covered. Okay? So you think you're going to catch some fish on this lake here? Oh, I have this special live target lure. Uh, Let's check her breaks. out. I'm going down to catch a bass. If I don't catch a bass between now and 8 o'clock, okay, I'll pay each one of you guys 100 bucks. Oh! Really? Oh, really? hundred bucks. I'm going to call okay. Elon right now and tell him to come out here and mess it up. Bucks. All right, you <laughs> better get out there. Get your damn hands off my rod. You rocks. better get out want, there. I don't want any of your bad cheese. I like this. I'm going stick, man, okay? <laughs> there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Meantime, speaking of Take bass. Take the hook off of it. Take the hook off of it here. Spe- speaking Joe, of, speaking I got of, some good cheese. <laughs> speaking of bass, Alan's rub is holding on line one, patiently. Alan. All right, Big Al. What's up, baby? Same old, same old. Yeah, same old thing. You actually answered your phone today, so we're very happy about that. Oh, no. You guys are doing the same thing, too. What are we doing? Well, I don't know. It's not like you're... Were you talking about pole dancers again? No. Yeah. I said I brought my pole. Eric okay. actually brought a fishing pole on set. Yeah. Because we always... We've been harping on him. Does he, he have some candy for that pole there, Ooh. Joe? Yeah, it's called a live target lure. Anyway, enough <laughs> off of me. Alan, you caught some nice fish this week. I saw him on Facebook. You had a... Bang in a week with these bass, man. Wow. It, especially the beginning of the week. Uh, even with the, the colder weather we had and that, but it, it didn't really seem to slow them down. And uh, the only thing that slowed them down was towards the end of the week. Uh, the winds got really kicking, and that made it a little tough on my fly fisher, man. I'll tell you that. And <laughs> made it tough on me. I got to wear one of those helmets, you know, so I don't get whacked in the head too many times. I heard you got nailed by a couple of uh, back cast and flies were kind of getting that big mass of beard ears. Let me tell you, no, I don't have the big, massive beard yet. It's coming again. You know, Christmas comes around. Well, that, that scratchy I looking thing you wear, whatever. I like it. <laughs> it's a it's, it's grungy. Hey, hey, quick question it, for it's definitely grungy. A quick, quick question for Captain Allen here. What? Uh, I've noticed the Everglades are catching on fire. Is that affecting your uh, fishing out there at all? 
Well, so far, no. I mean, everything's down towards the south. I'm, I've not, I've seen a couple of small breath fires start over the last uh, few weeks, but they didn't affect me at all. And the ones down there are a little bit bigger from what I'm seeing on TV anyway. And of course, Channel 7's giving me uh, minute-to-minute news on how far that fire is burning from each minute to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so we do. Little, yeah, they it definitely. Feel but, but no, this is kind of typical this time of the year. So we, we deal with that stuff. It's, it's nothing really new, which is, you hate to see it get too close to some of these homes. Yeah, know? yeah. Man. Well, but the fish don't care. I mean, as long as the bass are biting, the let the smoke blow away, dude. That's a that's a great day. Catch all those fish. Well, yeah. kind of part of the trend out there. It cycles. I mean, it, it's what cleans it up, and and uh, those areas will regrow better than they were before. And uh, that, that's it happens almost every year here. So it's not anything totally new. All right. But, uh, but the fish nice. has been good. So, you know, it, the, the glades has been good. I've been fishing up in along 27, U.S. 27. I've been fishing out in the alley. Uh, and then the city canals have also been good. That's where I've been getting a little bit bigger fish on uh, just most of the time. The bigger ones are coming from the city canals. But the, the Everglades is a lot of fun. You catch many species right now. So it's a good thing. Why do you think that is, Alan, with the uh, city canals being full of those those lunkers? Well, it, there's not as many. The, the Everglades is just full of fish, and I think the competition probably keeps it a little bit from uh, there's more activity going on. The fish are fighting with each other. And then the other thing is the water does get cooler out there. Right. And, and uh, from time to time, there's some kind of kill-offs, and, and we had a little bit this year out in the alley. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't know, you know, that it hurt it that much, but one section, I, I'm sure it did. But, but I did see a lot of dead ones. Hmm. But you know, that, that's also part of the cycle. It's nothing to be, uh, that, and that's why they don't go further north and too much further west. They, they do get over to, to Fort Myers a little bit, or towards Fort Myers, right? And I think they'll get up that way, and then the, the colder weather will knock them back every time. So it's it is what it is, and, and we still enjoy it. We got all sorts of fish to catch. Nice. Question for you, Alan: Do you carry electronics on your boat like a, a fish finder? at all? No, I used two years ago, but the only thing I really ever used it for was checking the temperature of the water. Okay. Uh, it, it's My style of fishing is a little bit different, and gosh, I've been in these canals. I don't know I don't really know how many times I've been in these canals. I kind of know what's going on before I even get out there. Okay, I'm just curious. I know a couple of caps I've talked to who fish uh, the freshwater stuff, uh, and your guys join the... Uh, yeah. Governments as well put these units on their oh, yeah. kayaks, man. So oh, yeah. some guys, Alan, in uh, fresh water uh, do carry electronics just so you know. You know Are you throwing a zing? Is that a zing? No, it's a helpful hint. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Well, I, being, I, being you know, I, I know that if I fish up with the Kobe and fish some of those areas, yeah. you, you might use that a little bit more. But down here in the canals, it's pretty pretty basic, and and the peacocks are pretty dependable on where they go and what they do, and and uh, you just you just gotta hit the spots. And that's, I've always been a spot person. I'll hit one spot, I go there ten fifteen minutes. If it's not working, I pull up and go somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, now, there's just tons of places to fish. Alan, I got one more question too. Um, I've been noticing on my feed that a lot more people are catching those Oscars. What's up with that? Are they just are they getting more plentiful here, or is that just by chance? Is it it's, time of year? It's another cycle. Uh, gotcha. I, I, I go back to the eighties when I, when I fished out in the Everglades. They took off and got really strong in the late eighties out there. Then they kind of simmered down. And it, it, the one that we're catching a lot this year and last year. Other than the Oscars, is I call them the tiger bass. That's what they call them down in Nicaragua, but but uh, we call them jaguar guapotes. Uh, They're out yeah. there more than ever seen them before. So it, it's the same thing. It, you know, all these years of fishing these canals, you'll see one fish kind of take off and then it kind of cuts back, and then another fish seems to get stronger. And certain areas, one will be stronger than another. Uh, I, I ran into a problem a couple times this week with the largemouth bass. They wouldn't leave our lures alone. They wouldn't let the peacocks bite the lures. It, wow. They, they get going. So it just depends on where you're at. And you know, I, I do hear some people complaining, oh, we don't have any largemouth bass. Maybe they need to change their tactics a little bit nah. and try some different stuff. Oh, there's, there's plenty I've, of them. I've got them both in my lake, large and yeah. peacock, and they both cohabitate very well together, so that's not a problem. Th- those jaguars are interesting. I-, I haven't caught one yet, but, I mean, do they get big? You mean like arapaimas? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm still waiting on that. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Like the... <laughs> that was a, That was an that, Eric laugh. That was yeah. great, man. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, thank you. I run four pounds, okay? They do get bigger. And I think over the next couple of years, you will see some bigger ones here. How big did you say? Canal, they get up close to four pounds. Really? 
That's a nice yeah, fish. That's, that's, that's a nice fish, nice man. Fish, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen a, th- a three-pound peacock looks big? Like, people think they're, like, the five. Way, the way I put them on film, they look Yeah, amazing. the way you put them on film, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they look like nine-pounders, man. I'm uh, yeah. on the way out there. They're man. actually they're two, and yeah. he makes them look ten. Thank you so much. Yeah, now we got to no rock, problem. man, buddy. You fishing today or what, dude? No, I'm actually packing, going to the Bahamas uh, tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. Early, so so uh, you know, somebody, some people have to do this stuff, and I'm taking a few days off, and I'm gonna bone fish, and, and then come back, and uh, I'll be back right at it. And I got a full schedule, pretty much most of April. So, all right, I well, have a safe trip, man, and uh, we'll see you when you get back, Jack. No COVID attacks or anything this time. All right, right. No STDs. Have a wonderful <laughs> trip there, big guy, okay? <laughs> yes. No, no, one more quick thing to go. What? At least take pictures of the fish. Okay. Oh, God. All right, Alan, take plenty of pictures. Okay, thank you. All right, we got to go, yeah, man. We got to go. Yeah, bye, Alan. Bye, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, quick teaser coming up on the show, man. Again, we have uh, Grant Lester coming up with uh, Sim Brad talking about that yep. beautiful unit this morning on the show yep. live, which would be great. You've got a trivia question. I asked you last night by text. Yes. Joe, it's your turn for a trivia question for the Starbright Bucket at 6.45. Right. Did you put one together? No. No. But I got something good. But I know you always do it on the fly, dude, right. so whatever. We'll it's figure. better on the fly. I don't like to write it down. That's like if me and you had to read a script. We don't script the show. Yeah. Why, why, bother, not, scri- why bother scripting a trivia question, Joe? <laughs> hint, hint. I mean, might be cool to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, can beat the can- nothing can beat the cannibal joke I prepared for today, so uh, whatever, man. Uh, yeah. Take a break. Come back to you. 626, Jam and Joe. Live. Fox Sports 940. <laughs> When it comes to kayak fishing, Nautical Ventures knows what you need to catch fish. They carry top brands from Hobie, Ocean, Wilderness, Old Town, Perception, Neki, and are experts in rigging your kayak. They'll customize your kayak with fishing amenities, lights, depth finders, and anything else that fits your personal fishing style. Nautical Ventures has the largest and latest selection of kayaks and accessories in stock. And you can try it before you buy it in their exclusive Aqua Zone. Go to nauticalventures.com for more details. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for kayak fishing. Mercury Verado 400 horsepower outboards are built to power the largest boats for the boldest adventures on the water. Verado's proven supercharged power head delivers pure marine muscle for unequaled whole shot and superior top speed. Yet Verado 400 remains true to its roots, delivering the best overall boating experience with an advanced midsection that virtually eliminates vibration while acoustic engineering on the cowl intake and exhaust minimize sound. Test drive Mercury's 400 horse Verado today. If you're looking to breathe new life into your boat, new motors will open up a whole new world. Nautical Ventures has several repowering options to fit your needs and budget. They carry the top brands including Mercury, Yamaha, Evinrude, Tawatsu, and a wide range of horsepower to give you all the speed you could need. Plus, they offer repower finance programs with affordable, low monthly payments. Contact Nautical Ventures today and talk to their pros about repower options. Call 954-926-5250 or go to nauticalventures.com. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for power. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Does he really have the best guests? Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. Does he really talk to the biggest names? He's uh, Mike Krzyzewski, Steph Curry, Russell Westbrook, Kyler Murray. Some say he has the best show. I'm just enjoying listening. Thank you guys for the entertainment. He's Dan Patrick. Welcome to the program. And along with the Danettes. Yeah, Paulie. Paulie? Uh-oh. No go? Everybody wants to. You can listen to the Dan Patrick Show weekdays right here, 9 a.m. on Fox Sports 940 Miami. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive save over $700 on average, and those savings add up. Imagine what you could buy in the future. Future. Hey, remember how 20 years ago I switched to Progressive? Well, now it's the future, and I used all those savings to buy this new hologram phone. Because, you know, it's the future, and everything is holograms now. So switch to Progressive and save big because those savings can add up in the future. future. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. National annual average insurance savings by new customers. Who save with Progressive in 2020. Potential savings will vary. 
This is Fogelman, ready to hustle for that muscle. Membership numbers at Sly's Gym have been racking up. 22 people have signed up for 6 a.m. buns of steel? Now he needs more certified trainers to do all the heavy lifting. I'm going to have to bulk up my staff. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Our hiring platform instantly connects you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit All right, got a little bit of time All before right. we come back real quick here. Let's see, man. Uh, Elon Talbert says, Eric, got your back. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Robert Sylvia, got to get Joe a teleprompter for his Starbright story. <laughs> Hey, by the way, if anybody could definitely catch fish on this That's lake, it's great, definitely man. Elon. You would have to get with him, and he'd make you catch fish. I got fired from my uh, stories, by the way. Oh, really? What, already? Yeah. Because Joe, no, for Joe, Starbright. Oh, the Joe, of the story, it's, a, yes. it's a two-hour show, and your, sh- your story took about <laughs> half an hour to get done. I got fired. They fired me. No, it was yeah. just a modification. Did you there. collect unemployment? Um, yes. How do I fire my one of my dearest friends? I just asked you to... He said I was fired. In, in wow. an email. In an email. An didn't email. even call me. Really? Didn't even, didn't even call his good it's friend. It's like that, huh? He sent me this weird but email. I, I put those XO emojis up there on the thing, man. Oh, no, he didn't. Hug, kiss, hug, kiss. No, he didn't. He put an X with... You found the secret spot to get your fishing in. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I want to go, go fishing. fishing. Powered by Mercury Marine. I don't know. With Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Anything you want to know about fishing or boating, troll us at 866-801-0940. Holy cow. This is more serious than I thought. Watch the show live on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. We'll certainly look forward to that. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, what a fun show this has been already, man. This time of the morning, having a few laughs, you know, take a couple shots at each other. Yeah. This is typical dysfunctional family life here going on. Yes, definitely. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, what yeah. do you think this is, the freaking Lawrence Welk show? Uh, Eric's got a bubble machine he's firing up in the <laughs> open of the show. Well, what is this, I, man? I saw it in public, so I thought it'd be a fun gadget to play oh in between my some, gosh. some downtime. So you Blowing spent, some you, bubbles. So you spent yeah. $50 on that $2 uh, bubble machine? Pretty much. <laughs> God. It's to entertain you guys, man. I mean, don't you love me more for that, man? No, oh, I'm no. sure. I'm sure Joe loves the bubbles in his face. <laughs> yes, yes. It's amazing. Yep. So, Danny Ramos, uh, back to the fishing show, uh, has been busy this week. Uh, yeah, I'm He's sure. Got a charter coming up today, which he normally does. Yes. I know it's been blowing like a bear the last couple of days, Joe. You've seen the winds, man, like 35, yeah. 40 miles an hour just humping. I thought it was going to rain and stuff like that. It's been clear. Well, the forecast Wait. is later today. Wait. We're supposed to get shellac. It's raining. That is rain. That is the weirdest thing ever. That's rain. Do you know I, when you said the word rain? I literally said the word rain and it started raining. That is, come on, man. Dude, that is that, crazy. That's great, Chi, man. I have powers. Well, actually, I'm off the hook, Danny. I'm not having to catch that bass for 100 bucks because I can't go fish No, 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 no. I'm a Jedi. No, 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 this no, is amazing. No, no, no. Dude, dude uh, 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 Joe, did you hear him try to back out on the fish thing here? No. Oh, no. I was no. still He's still collecting. We're shocked. On that. Uh, Dan, is... Danny's holding on line one, man. Can we just stop our stuff here for a moment? <laughs> Danny, what's hey, up, bro? What's up, what's up, what's up guys? My man. I hear we're it just, over there, huh? We're just bullshit. Well, I, I created it, but yeah, we... It's yeah, so funny, Danny. He says the word rain is literally so on weird. cue, man. The sky opens up. It's crazy. Wow. Let there be rain. Wait, wait. Damn. So, Danny, you take Joe on your boat, you say the word swordfish, and dude, the Boom. rod, the rod just bends. <laughs> swordfish. That's <laughs> over, big girl. That's awesome. Yeah, cool stuff, Danny. Eric, disappear. Yeah, uh, that ain't gonna happen. Didn't <laughs> Danny, so how you been? How's fishing for you, man? What's going on, buddy? Yeah, fishing's been all right. Fishing's been all right. Uh, yeah, the, the weather picked up. I finished off my my charter. Well, I had a charter on Tuesday, uh, and that's where it was actually kind of nice. And then it, it just picked up the you know the past couple of days have been real real honking. Uh, so I took off and uh, just uh, pre rigged did all my you know, organizing the tackle, the boat, got the boat detailed. Did a bunch of couple things, uh, you know, the regular usual stuff to get ahead. And uh, but uh, the bite's been all right, you know. Sail fish, a couple sail fishes here and there. Um, I got you know a nice gaffer mahi. I think it was on Monday's charter or something like that. A nice nine pounder. But you know, it's just you know picking here and there. There's nothing real. There's no red hot smoking bite. You know, spotty. It's just yeah, very spotty. 
It's got to be perfect conditions, you know, and, and you're getting your chances. You just got to execute on those chances that you get. Right. Uh, it's not completely dead, but it's not completely red hot uh, as well. Yeah. Um, last night I did go out. At, I, I had a charter today, and then I have another charter tomorrow. So, I mean, I, it was a nice afternoon, so I went out and I caught, you know, I loaded up on bait, tacked myself up on some bait, and I uh, tried for the tarpon for, you know, 10, 15 minutes and hook, hooked a real nice one last night, about 120, 130 pounds. Oh, wow. Uh, caught him pretty good. Nice yeah, fish. so yeah. that was a cool, that was a cool, that was a cool thing. Uh, nice incoming fish. tide, fresh, uh, fresh poacher out there. He smacked it instantly, and uh, and it was a good battle. We got him right to the boat side and touched the leader and released her. It was it was an exciting little battle. Is that is that but, right uh, at the uh, inlet there? Or? Yeah, yeah, right okay. on the inlet, or right yeah. on, right up on the beach, it's right up on the year. beach. Uh, you pick a, a side of the jetty where you want to kind of uh, drift from. Uh, whether it be the incoming tide, where the wind's blowing, you know, where you want to set up your boat, you don't want to go in the right in the middle of the, uh, the inlet because you got boats coming in, and sometimes these big, you know, uh, sport fishers are they're going to oh, be yeah. hard to move out of the way or something like that yeah. when you're on. One, so. <laughs> I, so you want to kind of set yourself up where you get hooked up and you don't end up in the middle there where you got yeah. a boat that can't hit the brakes like a. Yeah, a little twenty footer. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I, you know, I I remember moving here to South Florida. The first fishing I ever did right. was fishing a Hollover Inlet oh, uh, for boat. tarpon. The worst, by the way. And yeah. it was insane boat wise. But we ended up catching like three tarpon, releasing them. Oh, nice. And it was the coolest thing because I never caught one. So I'm like, man, these things look like giant pilchard. Like they're just <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> you know, I mean, you yeah, the fight. The fight last night was textbook. He, he was taking me offshore. Oh, so really? Like, uh, that was the the textbook fight. Uh, so you know he, he didn't want to. Some of them you'll hook them, and they'll take you inside to the jetties, and then you're 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 gonna you know mess with the pilings and kind of try right. to see which way he's gonna go. And and but it, it gets kind of risky. But if you can get a fish and kind of even muscle them out a little bit to kind of guide them away, and then and get that free open water, nice jumps, good runs. Uh, he was smoking the reel last night pretty good, so it, it, it's it's always uh, nice to hear that music of the reel yeah. going off. Yeah, for yeah, sure. but uh, we're gonna give it a shot today. Today's gonna be a real nice day, uh, from what I see so far. Everything the wind died down, so hopefully you know any you know they, you can go out one day or it's been slow, and then one day they hit the switch on and you know let there be fish, you know. So let's let's hope today uh, kind of does that for us today. But looking forward to it. Cool. So Danny's so cool about it. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I was giving some props for Danny. That most guys on Instagram post some weird stuff about their life or whatever else. Danny's got a post of him making his baits. And they're not <laughs> being interrupted by anybody around on set. It's just he's showing this bait on camera. Right. And that's the feature, man. It was homemade rig. That's great. He's proud yeah, of his homemade rig. Well, you know I mean? that, that is that's great. An art, man. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's, a, that's it an is art. an art, of yeah, course. When you're is. bridling your own baits and you're yeah. doing what you need to do and creating and being creative, and, and it's definitely an art. does us a favor by showing these things on camera. So I sure. can say, maybe I can steal some of Danny's ideas and rig my own baits like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, I don't think yeah, so, but I, of, probably uh, not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our, t our time in and, and we tried different things and you know who knows if what you know I did or another captain did that you know gave it that step ahead to get that bite you know so maybe instead of doing the regular 100 pound mono on the on the on the rig that, well, I went down to 55 floral you know I mean right. I went to 50 floral carbon and, and, and who knows if that little change in the leaders you know got that bite got that fish of the day or the fish of the year you don't, you don't know so you want to kind of like Test out different things, different colors, you know, and uh, and different size hooks, you know, the presentations, you know, might be a little bit more stealth right. in a certain way that you're going to get your bite. So it kind of like, I feel like that kind of differentiates a lot of us is that, you know, it's what time you put in it and, and kind of what you're figuring out how to adapt. I mean, these fish ultimately, you know, they get hooked and they get lost. So, you know, they are, and believe it or not, I believe they do get a little bit more finicky, a little bit more smarter because of being hooked and being, uh, you know, lost. Definitely. Other from you know the amount of anglers that there is out of, out of Miami or South Florida, you know there, there's thousands of boats out here, you know throwing yeah. out hundreds of lines, That's you know. So sure. right, it, uh, <laughs> it it gets a little interest. But I'm also super excited. I got a package, like a Christmas gift package last night uh, from my buddy from Wolfpack Tackle Man. They got these like sea witches. You know, I'm a big believer with yeah. the sea witches and the Wait. planers. Yep. These guys have been up north in New Jersey. I've been seeing them. They got these sea witches with these Jersey rubber worms Joe. on them. Oh, yeah. Jersey yeah. Joe. 
Jersey. Oh, Dude, that's planer yeah. fishing 101, baby. I know, I made your... Old planers for yeah. striped bass, you know. You're, uh, yeah. oh, I know you're tickling now, man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's, got, he's, got, he's got this real nice... Uh, Sea witch with the worm that fits perfect on the sea witch. Oh yeah, the worm. Remember, the That's worm, great. Is, but let me tell you, I mean, the presentation of this, from what I've seen and what I see these guys tearing up, yellowfin, bluefin, striped bass, everything. But it's it's you know it's a nice artificial bait to have in your bag, and I he, you know I'm very grateful that they sent me all kinds of colors, and I'm gonna give these things a shot down here in Miami, see what we can do here, and see some wahoo with two on it, man. So it, yeah. It's, it's, I'm excited for that package, man. So you got to look out for them, bro. They're actually uh, they're the next thing for sure, I, I believe. That's why I love so, Danny uh, so much. I'm gonna man. go give him a shot today. He's not just like stodgy captain kind of guy, man. He's always modifying and trying new things, man. New tactics, new bait, new yes. new rigs. You know, he's always innovating, man. Which well, is cool. You know? That's the thing. I I really hope our fans are listening hard to this because. What Danny is basically telling you guys yeah. is, listen, presentation is key. Yeah, Don't just be content with putting a line out and trying to catch a fish and saying, oh, I didn't get a fish, I'm skunked. Yep. No, what you do is you put a line out, you put a lot of work into that first line that comes out, whether yep. it's the hook size, whether it's the leader, uh, maybe the water's clear today, so you go, you, you knock mm-hmm. back the leader a little bit or yep. knock back the hook size yep. a little bit. There's so much that goes into this stuff, and never be afraid as an angler to try new things. I think that's something that gets lost so much with with a lot of these anglers. Try new things yourself. Don't just rely on, you know, the the status quo when it comes to catching Wahoo or Marlin or whatever. Do your own thing. Try something. It could work. Hey, I got a 65-pound Wahoo trying something different. Danny always tries something different. Yeah. Look at He's one of the best charter well, guys out there. If I could just put it on me for one second, I had this genius idea one weekend to try saltwater tackle on uh, peacock bass. There you go. And, dude, it worked. Okay. Uh, see? The, the, the bucktail, bucktail jigs were, were jamming. Normally, that's for throwing out in the ocean. But oh, yeah. They were digging them, man. Yeah. So, Danny, yeah, you're spot on yeah, with that, it, man. Awesome. You know, keep keep moving, keep grooving, dude. You know what I mean? But uh, let's see, let's see what happens, man. Let's, let's get tight today, man. I'm I'm looking forward. To it. I'm super stoked. So you got to let me know, Danny, because yeah. to use the Jersey tactics yeah. here in Miami, yeah. that yeah. makes me excited. That gives me a little tickle. My partner to be happy. So yeah, let him know how that works <laughs> out. Okay. Hey, Danny, for you, you man. Trust me, man. When I see something that I that I can see that's really good, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my word on it and. Uh, I, I believe this is going to be the next level. It's a really, really good product and everything on it. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited right now, man. I don't got to be worried about yeah. thinking bonitas all the time, strips. <laughs> I got to worry about if, if I can roll down a little worm with a nice switch on it. Oh, my God, that'll be perfect. Oh, that's great. So. Hey, Dan, before you go, man, there's some fun things on your platforms, man. Uh, tell people where to see you on Instagram and Facebook and how to hook up on the Blue Dream and the whole deal, bro. Hit it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you can follow me on Blue Dream Fishing uh, underscore on Instagram. And uh, Blue Dream Fishing on Facebook. And uh, I got the website, www.bluedreamfishing.com. Bro, feel free to um, give me a shout-out. Whatever you guys need, uh, any questions on anything. If you got personal tackle or whatever you guys want, uh, I don't mind helping you guys out. So let's uh, catch some fish, and thank you guys. I appreciate it. Dan, we love you, man. Thanks so much, man. Have a great day. Hook them up. And uh, if you had Joe on your boat, you said the word mahi, they would be around in thousands, okay? Because Joe's got some great, <laughs> great cheek. Something's today, going man. on today. I might you, need to go fishing. I got, don't know. You got the Yoda thing going on today, <laughs> man. That's crazy. It's crazy. But anyway, <laughs> thank you, Danny. Bye. Bye, guys. See you, bud. It is time, my brother Joe, for the Starbright Bucket O, okay? Hmm. So it's up on you to Let's come up with it. a. Fishing <laughs> trivia question this morning, okay? Okay. I know you said you had nothing pre-thought last night, which is not unusual. Of course not. So, it's on you, man. Give us a short, condensed trivia question to give this amazing bucket of American-made products away with the wash, mitt, rust remover, the whole... De- it's just loaded, man. What do you okay. got? Bring okay. it. Bring it. All right. In South Florida, in when South it comes Florida. to Wahoo fishing, okay, and I'm talking the status quo, uh-huh. what is the most effective type of fishing for Wahoo? Okay, is it A, A. speed trolling? Okay, is it B, uh-huh. flat lines? Okay, is it C, jigging? Flat line. High speed or jigging? Yes. Oh, that's, I like that question. I'm not sure what the answer is, to tell you the truth. All right. Would you give me a clue? 
Absolutely not. Okay. 866-801-0940. 866-801-0940. Status quo, though. Not like you're uh, what you like. You also need to give that to Eric, our wonderful producer, so when they call him... They <laughs> yes, that's very uh, true. Well, text did you, the did answer, you think okay. about that? Whoops. Hello, We'll Earth, do it now Earth. at Fox Sports 940. God. Nice. Now. Bang. If you're wanting to spend more time on the water, then check out the new 2022 good. of Sailfish Center console, dual console, and walk around boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, and the new 272 Center console and 27 dual console continue this proud offshore heritage. With head turning styling, top tier construction, and incredible on the water performance, Sailfish boats feature the legendary deep V variable degree stepped hull, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features that make Sailfish the best value among upper tier brands. Deep gunnels, comfortable seating, roomy heads, plenty of storage, solid construction, and incredible performance all make Sailfish boats a must-see. Fishing focused and family friendly, Sailfish boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon wakeboarding with the kids, and a sunset cruise with friends, all with one boat. So if you're in the market for a new boat, the entire Sailfish line is specially priced, making this the best time to join the Sailfish family. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information or to find a Sailfish dealer near you. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's insurance underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. Need a place to store your boat? How about a wet slip with ocean access? One with hurricane protection and a full service yard? Nautical Ventures Marine Center in the heart of Fort Lauderdale has dockage starting at just $12 per foot per month. The lowest rate in Broward County. Our full service yard performs all boat works from bottom paint to engine repower to total refits. Coming soon, a new state-of-the-art 200-unit dry stack. Go to nauticalventures.com slash marina for more information. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. Boosters provide stronger COVID protection for everyone. All right, gentlemen, you got a little bit of time here if you want to say good morning to anybody. Online. A lot of the guys on the stream, man, are actually answering Joe's trivia question, and most of them got it right. Oh, okay. Uh, Eric's got a message to me. You can... Uh, okay. What Let me say? know when you... Um, he's working it right now, still okay. waiting on the callers. Calls. You still guys... Guys, if you know the answer, call in. All right, give that number again. 866-801-0940. Again, um... What's the non or what's the traditional method for catching wahoo? Was it high speed trolling? Was it uh, jigging? Or was it whatever the hell? Flat line. Flat line. Flat line yeah, 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 yeah. Steve Johnson says you just need Eric's shirt and a fish and a fish whistle to catch wahoo. Okay. I like that. All because I got the fishy, fishy, fishy shirt on. Yeah. Oh, Grant Lester goes. Bucktail jigs are key for catching massive peacocks. He's tried ah. my. He's tried my technique. Obviously, I like that. Yeah, very cool. Did you ever hear of finesse? Uh, it's a hair care product I use quite often. Yeah, thank you. That's really good shampoo. <laughs> I love it, man. On the wig? Is that for your scary curl? <laughs> Finesse, you, you do have a nice little wave going on today. Yeah, this. well, the longer it gets, the more wavy it gets. It's almost like okay. if you pull the hat off and that big Oof. jumbo sargasm thing you're wearing in your head <laughs> just pops out and blows up the set. Uh, I love when people are like, you must be bald. And I'm like, buddy, it's the opposite. Nah, and you, you pull it off. It's like, you pull it off that one day off set. And I said, what the hell? Man, bro, what is... 
Is that some kind of a damn tree you're wearing? It's a fro. It literally yeah, like froze out. You got a freaking bush on your head, man. It's nuts. High school was tough, man, because you can't wear a hat in school. So I would like cake it down. You're catching all the fish because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. Don't catch all the fish. Drink all the beer. With your hosts, two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln, an easy way to car. You're just the guy I want to see. Glad you're here. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Well, welcome back to the big show, Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Program. Coming up here in the 745 hour, we've got uh, Grant Lester coming up on the show with Sid yeah. Ladd talking about this I'm excited. new NSS Evo 3, what Go you on. call it, deal. Uh, anyway, your trivia question, Joe, must have been so difficult that the phone-in folks couldn't figure it out, but the Facebook streamers got it right. Okay. Maybe we should make this contest like this. The first Is that one that hard of a question? But wait, the first one either on phone or Facebook reply gets the prize. All okay? right. All right. So we got so if that's the case, if that's Grant? the case, hang on a second. I think it gets it. Grant Lester would be the winner because he had the answer right. The answer cool. is, by the way, high speed trolling. Yes. That was a correct answer. Yes. So Grant Lester, um, message me. Okay, and I'll tell you how to get your bucket. So he's the winner. Cool. How about that? I like it. So sweet. Get that out of the way. And I got an even better one for next week now that Eric and I talked about it. Right? Wait, 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 wait. Grant Lester's our guest coming up with a sim rat. He actually just won. oh, jeez. He just won your prize. He's just taking our bucket. He just won the bucket. He's going home with a. He doesn't want that bucket. Sim rat unit and, and a bucket. How about oh, that? He doesn't Perfect. want that bucket because I go. kind of I kind of used some of the product in that bucket. He wants a new bucket. By the uh, way, I got three messages in my Facebook inbox with the answer. Guys, you gotta call. Don't don't send me a yeah. private. Don't send me a private That's message. That's why we have a phone, a toll free number. Call. Yeah, the phone. call guys. My gosh, I got three messages. All high right. speed, high speed. We got that all figured out. Sean Rolls is holding on line one, man. Ooh, your brother, man. My man. Bring him on, dude. So yesterday, I was getting some text messages from uh, from my man Sean about yeah. fishing. He yeah. went out and uh, he killed it on Lake Ida. He did, yeah, Sean. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Good morning, guys. What's going on? Morning, Sean, Sean. I talked to you as well yesterday, and you had a pretty damn good day, my friend, didn't you? Yeah, I haven't been on the lake for quite some time, so I was kind of getting the uh, the bugs out and getting all my gear situated, and probably about 20 minutes in the fishing to hook my first clown. Nice. Clown knife fish, that is. He was and, pulling, um, a, pulling a lure, Joe. He was, uh, pulling, he was pulling a lure, Joe. Sean, did you use candy? No. Sean. <laughs> no. You I didn't... used just a regular Walmart style crankbait. Ha! Did you bring candy? Don't lie. Snook candy? Did you bring candy? He brought candy, bro. I know you brought candy. <laughs> you mean as far as live? <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. what means, Sean, yeah. So I caught, I hooked six clowns. I got five in. And one that I caught was on live bait. Oh, we brought live bait. Oh, there we go. That's you all know, I needed to know. You had to just keep ringing That is all. He tried to avoid neck. it for the whole... You had to keep wringing his neck till you finally choked out one shine every broad. Be well, that's what he says. Well, but Joe, we know. Joe, God, Joe almighty, wouldn't you man? bring the same thing cloud, yourself? One cloud on our shiner. Of course I would Joe, bring you candy. bring candy, that's candy all too. I'd okay, right, put it in my yeah. mouth. I'd throw it out to the fish. I'd be juggling it. I, I, I'm, I'm the live candy machine. Just so you know, Joe... Just so you know, Joe, this segment's not about you. It's about Sean. No, okay. I know, but... So I'm, let's Sean continue on. I'm just saying... Get off you, man. He brought candy. Get off your ass and get on it's him. It's about you. What are you talking? It's all about you, man. You. Yo, yo, yo. Sean, help Sean, me out. Sean, go ahead, bro, please. That's guy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I brought the live bait, and I, I didn't really use it too much because uh, I just kind of so put it out when I was sitting there eating my lunch, and that's when I caught a clown. But for the most time, I just trolled around... Crankbaits, one deep, one shallow, and it's really effective that way. Now, you caught a sunshine bass as well, correct? I got a sunshine, I got the clowns, and okay. I got a peacock. And the big clown. The 
What did you get that one on? Uh, crankbait. Uh, crankbait. Okay. You just keep yeah. working your way into this thing with the shiners, man. You just want to just keep working them and working them. I am just it. asking legitimate questions, sir. All right. So, let me talk about this, Sean. Are you planning on fishing Joe's uh, <laughs> exotic bass roundup coming up here? Are you in that, that dealio? Of course. I definitely am, and I was actually up there with Dave Norman from the North Nautical Ventures store for Team Hobie. Good old Dave, yeah. And yep, yep. Yeah, we went up there together with the uh, the goal to get ready for the tournament, and also Dave's doing a seminar next week at Nautical mm-hmm. Ventures. With, with Joe. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, and Sean, you're coming, right? Yeah, as long as... Uh, as long as I still get that ride up there, you know, I can't afford the gas. I, I got you, man. I got you. We're going to take the old extreme truck. I don't know why nobody invited yeah. me to be there. I'm only the well, co-host of the show. I mean, do I, I, mean have, I don't have any cred. Uh, it's for the, I don't you know. freaking <laughs> dirtbag. What do you do? What? what? It's what not about you, Eric. It's you, not about you. You got Sean going. You got Dave going. And what, Stephen and I are just, what, cut cheese? No, we invited Stephen. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> What an a-hole, man. Oh, oh man. God, Sean. <laughs> uh, anyway. We'll talk about this later. Sean, you've been, been offshore in the boat besides the yak, or what have you been doing with the, with the boat side? Uh, well, today is the uh, the family day. Okay. Oh, so, but tomorrow looks really good. I'm hoping to get offshore. Um, Can I come? I'm going to go in the kayak unless I get somebody else like Joe who wants to go in the boat. <laughs> and we'll take that boat out. Oh, oh believe me, if you bring Joe, there'll be about 8,000 shiners in the bucket. <laughs> okay, Sean, just so you know, bud. No, I'll be dragging him behind the boat. About, drag him behind the boat, man, so you'll have plenty of live bait, bro. Uh, yeah, you right. want to go, Joe? Sure. You've been invited, Joe. Wait, but, do you want to go, hey, Sean, Joe, Sean, 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 be no Sean show Joe? He's, got, he's got a nickname, No Show Joe, as you just mentioned. So I've had that since high school. You better, you better <laughs> nail, him, nail him down, bro, because I'm not sure about his... Here's the thing. I have we Mia. We all know this. So yeah. Mia's going to have to go if we go, though, Sean. Yeah, bring her. It's a right. family-friendly boat. Right. We have dogs. Okay. We have kids. You have everything. No right. excuses, Joe. Now okay. I don't. All right. So I'll, I'll be there. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be dead flat calm in the is morning. Is it? It's okay. Be a beautiful day. Let's do it. All right. All right. But but I just have one small request. Uh, here we go. Here we go. If Mia starts right. flipping out at like, you know, 10 o'clock, you know what I mean? Like, sure, just have to learn to deal with it. I knew you were going to say Let that. me stop you for guys for a second. Richard Hector blew up the stream here and says, Eric, I definitely would have invited you to this seminar. <sighs> Your dad's got my back. Okay. Eric. You know, there comes a that? time in a man's life <laughs> yeah. when... Uh, just be well, be honest, Joe. Don't you know, hold back. You know, you just do things. Yeah. Behind and not you, do things. Behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we got to rock and roll, okay. man. But, uh, hey, hope you guys catch a fish later on today. You bring your lures. Yeah. Joe will bring his shiners. Me will catch fish probably on your lures. I do have one quick question for Sean. Don't you always? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Sean, um, planer fishing. I know you've been doing it. Is there any recommendations you would have for someone that's trying that out for the first time uh, targeting Wahoo? What would you say to them? Go to the local taco shop. Can I say it? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect answer. Don't, nice. Yeah. No, seriously, go, go to your local taco shop. Don't go to, uh, you know, a big box store. Right. Go to a local store. Yeah. Get right. set up. Get set up right. You're yeah. going to spend a little bit of money, but it's going to work. Cool. All right. Perfect. It's a lot cheaper than going out there wasting your time. Yeah. Hey, man, catch up later on today with Joe. Show, Joe shows, obviously, so have a great time. Great day. Yes. You're, you're great on the show. We're glad you're a brand new addition. Yeah. You bring lots of cred that the show definitely needs. So uh, thank, you so, <laughs> thank you so much, Sean. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow, Joe. All right. All see right. you, buddy. Take a little break. Come back with uh, George Clark Jr. We have Deb Dale on deck coming down with the keys. Nice. A lot of keys news coming up on the show. We've got an all star lineup, huh? We do, man. We love have it. A Simrad display coming up. It's going to be one banging next hour, man. Cool. So I'm ready. On the Fox Sports 940 live. Boom. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen. 
where yacht-grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own Blue Water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a Blue Water. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. Hey, Florida, we know you love getting out on the water. But do you know what to wear when you're out there on the water? A life jacket, of course. And whether you're fishing, skiing, sailing, or just cruising the water, there's a perfect life jacket designed for you and your activity. Always check the label to make sure your life jacket is U.S. Coast Guard approved. Then try it on to make sure it fits properly. And then wear it. Life jackets save lives. Visit wearitflorida.com to learn more. That's wearitflorida.com. You love your boat. You love the water. But you'll love them both even more with a new Mercury V8 four-stroke outboard on the transom. The four-strokes 4.6 liter V8 powerhead delivers exhilarating acceleration and top speed with uncompromising durability and reliability. While its advanced midsection and undercowl noise management create the smoothest, quietest ride on the water. The 250 and 300 horsepower four-strokes are famous for superior hole shot and fuel efficiency. See your Mercury dealer today for the exciting 250 and 300 horsepower four-stroke outboards. If you're looking to breathe new life into your boat, new motors will open up a whole new world. Nautical Ventures has several repowering options to fit your needs and budget. They carry the top brands including Mercury, Yamaha, Evinrude, Tuatsu, and a wide range of horsepower to give you all the speed you could need. Plus, they offer repower finance programs with affordable, low monthly payments. Contact Nautical Ventures today and talk to their pros about repower options. Call 954-926-5250 or go to nauticalventures.com. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for power. I'm George Poveromo, and I've made washing and detailing my boat an art. I'll avoid dish soap, which quickly strips away protective wax coating and even begins eating into the gel coat. For me, it's Starbright Boat Washes exclusively. They're specifically formulated to keep boat surfaces impeccably clean and protected without stripping wax finishes. Available in pine, citrus, and blueberry scents. Go to Starbright.com to find a retailer near you. Starbright. Clean and protect. This is a metaphor for your business's journey. Sometimes it feels like the world is throwing everything it has at you. And to succeed, you need someone to guide you through. That's what Dell Technologies Advisors do. They have the Windows PCs and tech advice to help you navigate whatever challenges you're up against and get you safely to where you want to be. Call an advisor today at 877-ASK-DELL. That's 877-ASK-DELL. A start to a simpler experience All right, you know what, with man? Windows 11 Pro. Uh, hey, you. I, I didn't see him catch that fish, bro. I, I don't know about this, okay? Uh, uh, Joe, did you see him catch that fish? No, I actually I think I, really the guy, I think the gentleman from Simrad brought that for him. Yes. <laughs> I actually uh, I saw the fish up close. First of all, it's the size of a, a, a big pilchard. So I don't think that'll count. And then also, I didn't see him catch it, so it doesn't count. <laughs> Is he taking it back to the lake? That would be nice. Yeah, I know. Eric, can we let this fish go so it survives? He's just, he's just digging that thing out of him. Oof. There he goes. There he goes. Watch him. Like beautiful morning. Oh, ain't that beautiful? It's all Day fishing's a beautiful day. Now back to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine, and brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Now here's your fishing buddies, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Yeah, baby. Welcome to hour number two of the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. During the break, I went out and did what I said I would do. I caught a massive. 
Large mouth bass. I, I didn't see you catch that. I and did you, did you the, wash your fishy hands? You didn't get your fishy I, hands on he the headsets? Number one. Unless you oh, put like, a kiss on my hand. Don't worry about geez. what it smells like, okay? But the headsets. I Oh, whatever, man. I caught the bass. I'm off the hook for the $100 prize I told you guys. Yeah, I that was you, stressing okay? you out. Oh, yeah. it was wicked, <laughs> wicked stressing hey, out, Hey, let me make man. a bet here. I'll, uh... <laughs> uh Whatever, yeah. man. I got. I got. I didn't see fish. it happen. Okay. I don't think anyone really saw it happen. So I, I don't. I'm not believing that, bro. Whatever. How about can we change it to like it's got to be like two pounds or up or something? How about we change this, man? Grant Lester got here early with Simrad. Okay, yeah. he's doing this great display, by the way, which is getting set up over here on the yeah. left side of the of the set with a mm-hmm. special camera. Grant, why don't you jump uh, on the seat there, man? Grab a seat on yeah, the uh, the guest couch there. Throw your headsets on. I mean, we don't just come out of the show and make you wait under the wings, man. You're part of the program now, yeah. bro. Yeah. Put Appreciate the mic to your mouth. It's not fun. Grant, how you doing, buddy? Doing good. Thanks for having me. Welcome to the show. Uh, I know you came by my place of business uh, about a week or so ago. and did a great Simrad display for the uh, sales knuckleheads, which we are all knuckleheads there, and uh, showed some of the great stuff with the unit. So yes. it's pretty amazing what these machines can do and make life easy. Yeah, they definitely come a long way, you know, at least in my short time in the marine industry compared yeah. to some of the more tenured guys. So Bring your mic a little closer to your face, real close. Don't See, listen to this guy. There we go. Now? Gotcha. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. So... Uh, we'll talk to you a little later on, but hang on the show and uh, stick next to Joe if you can stand him, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he can. <laughs> Let's go ahead to the Keys and talk to George Clark Jr., shall we? Let's do it. You make George wait all day long. George, good morning, brother. It's all right. I- I'm enjoying just listening. It's awesome. <laughs> George! <laughs> really? George, you're the man, really? bro. Love you to death as always, man. So how's your week been? Love What's happening in the Love lovely Florida Keys? What's happening? Oh, you know what? It looks like a really beautiful day. I'm not going to be out there today because I've just decided to take Saturdays kind of off if I can to go spend time with family. Right. Nice. But it looks great. It looks like very, very low winds, like variable. And you know what? I, there's a lot of stuff going on out there. Wahoos are biting a little bit. Yes. Kings, you know, and the deep side of things. Uh, yeah, a few mahi here and there. Okay. A few blacks in here and there. It's, nothing is on fire yet, but it's we're getting there. We're getting close, and there's still some sailfish around. So that's been really, really, you know, what people have been focusing on more than anything. Right. You don't want to eat a fish. You go sail fishing, you know, and try to jump a sail or two. Yeah. Or and, fish uh, one of the million talking. tournaments, sailfish tournaments that are going <laughs> yeah, on lately. There's going to be a million of them, yeah. Yeah, for sure. There's only a million of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know up here, George, the wind was blowing like a bear, man. Like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it was blowing 15 to 30 up here. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what happened down yeah. in the Keys, but it was, it was blowing, Joe, as you know, man. Yeah. I'm surprised they're not getting more mahi with all that wind, right? I mean, you would think it'd be hot, right? Well, with that, the thing, see, George, just so you know, man, about 45 minutes ago, yeah. Joe said word rain. And at the exact moment and he said rain, rain baby. man, the skies open up and it rained. Dude, that was weird. That so, was really weird. If you now, if you want mahi in the keys, have him on your boat. Go fishing. Let him say the word mahi right. and get ready for thousands of fish to run your boat. <laughs> They'll be jumping in the boat. Uh, you don't even need to run. It's crazy. You know, we'll yeah, Yoda. And we'll catch some mahis and we'll make some tacos. Let's do it, man. You know, George's tacos <laughs> yeah. are legendary. We had him here they, live on the show. Are, right. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we had him come here, and it was um, the Eric. Like we zoomed in on Eric just like going to town. On oh, his, I was, on his taco. I was, I was disgusting. Just buried. <laughs> I, I was disgusting, but when you watch me eat on the show, but yeah, Grant wasn't around for that show. But Grant, we have a lot of guests on the program, nice, and uh, he happened to come in for the keys, and he got so lost, man. He's supposed to be here for like an hour oh, for the show, so bad. Made the last fifteen minutes, but George, the trooper, he was, man, threw those things on the grill. Yeah. They made minutes. the best out of it. We were hooked awesome. up, man. Yeah. yeah, so cool stuff. I ended up spilling mine all over me in the truck because I was enjoying it so much, and then <laughs> yeah. I hit the brake, and it went all over me. I know. <laughs> Uh, hey, trust me, I can't. I can't eat, eat and drive either, man. I it's so drive. hard, man. But it's right. So I mean, hey, did, did yeah. catch a couple cobia this week? <gasps> there that you was go. Cool. There we go. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's it the first time I've heard it's cobia in a while. I'll give you another little tidbit. There's been a lot of permit around. They're on the deep wrecks. They're on some of the shallow patches, man. Just get some crabs. Yeah. Go out there and sight fish them. If the wind is down. You'll see them spiked up, nice. floating around. They're, throw a crab right on their head. They'll eat it. It'll now, be awesome. now, George, real quick on that. I have a question because yeah. I tried a, 
beach fishing here for them because I do hear they kind of run up and down the beaches here. It's kind of rare, but um, I heard you need a certain type of hook, though, right, for those crabs? I, I mean, I use a Mutu style hook. A Mutu style hook. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's a it's like a triangular circle hook. Okay. That does not miss. Okay. I'm sorry. Cool. And you hook the you hook the crab right through the corner of its shell, and you got to kind of drill it through there. You can't just like try to stuff it through there. You'll break the corner of the shell off. Right. So you got to kind of work it back and forth until you get it through there. And then when you see them floating on the surface and you throw that crab there, you're getting a bite, man. Nice. So one of them is going to eat it. Maybe not the one you threw at, but his buddy <laughs> might. Do you, you take know? the flippers off? What? You know, the little back flippers. I heard here you got to, like, no, pop them off because they'll no. dig into the sand. No? No. Oh. Where do no. you hear these things, Joe? <laughs> see, Eric told me this this morning that you need to pop those suckers off. I like, did not say that. I'm like, that, that, is, you, that sounds so weird. You idiot. I didn't say well, that. It's <laughs> old bay season and, and butter. <laughs> no, but if when, we did that, then, yeah, but George, I, I permit you want those nice quarter sized crabs, not a big crab. It's really important the size of the crab you're throwing at those yeah. fish, correct? Well, there's there's a big difference between a permit size crab. It's like a, uh, it's it's really about the size of a fifty cent piece. Okay, all right. And, and, and then the, the tarpon crabs are probably twice that size. Right. Okay. The ones that you really want to go target the tarpon with. But I mean, this is the time of year that you can go hit these wrecks or these patches and stuff and find them and actually do a little sight fishing, guys, and throw a bait out there and and get and get responded to. You know, get bites. Right, Very and cool. that's that's the cool thing because there's not like one fish there. There's like thirty fish there yeah. normally. Awesome, you know what I mean, or more. So you'll like find them because they're getting ready to stage up and spawn. So when you see that and you hook that little crab on, and the crab's like, "Are you serious, man? <laughs> Don't do this to me." And I'm like, "Sorry, man. Sorry, I'm gonna bro. throw you over there. He's gonna eat you, and that's gonna happen." <laughs> Sorry. Hey, George, on your really, boat, man, you know, when you're spotting fish like that, do you normally work off of a uh, fish finder of some kind on your boat? Um, No, not too much because I'm visually looking at it. Okay. But I do use the fish finder all the time. You know that. Okay. I, I'm just curious. What, if, I what, what, bottom, if I bottom fish or I'm fishing wrecks, yeah, I got to have it. Uh, what, what brand's on your boat? I'm kind of curious. Well, I'm hoping the uh, Simrad will just give me one. That'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> Good That'll be awesome. George. Potentially Simrad. George was listening. George was listening. He thinks Grant's going to give him that. I can get, listen, I can get on that team in a minute, okay? <laughs> <laughs> right, We're Grant, talking about Grant, five, five years on Discovery Channel. Fish guys, let's rock. Yeah. Nice. Grant, he wants to uh, have that unit you're using on the demo is on his boat after the show. And that ain't going to happen, George. <laughs> hey, you never know. But, but we'll talk after the program. You never know. Okay? We'll hey, talk. but I have, a, I have a really good bourbon company that supports me. <laughs> hey, Trying to trade? That's <laughs> why you're always happy. <laughs> Trying to trade, right? right there trade. you go. <laughs> George, we're going to rock it, man. But you, you said taking off with the family, just chilling today, huh? Yeah, just chilling today. I'm going to cook something. And, uh, you know, you know me, man. I'll always yeah. throw something. Hey, I will tell you this, though, before I let you go. Sure. I made the most amazing seafood lasagna the other night. Oh, Ooh. Man. And I'll have to give you the recipe to it because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not the one that called it amazing. All my family said it was the best thing they've ever eaten. So I'll hook you guys up with that. Do you normally tip the family like 20 bucks each? <laughs> Uh, no, probably 40. 40. 40. Yeah. <laughs> Take a little more. I've got to give them more. I mean, there's inflation. Uh, okay, Bob. Yeah. That's right. for, we know that's for, that's for a fact, Jack. <laughs> hey, George, man. Thanks so much, buddy. Have a great weekend. Yeah, we thanks, love George. You. We, we love you. Team, man. Love you, today, you got Jack. it, guys. Oh, all right. man. Take a little break. So, Grant, uh, you're all set to go, man. That machine's over here to my left. I think Stephen J. Gray's got a special camera uh, locked onto that bad boy. Yeah. So, you'll be doing your live demo. It's the very first on the show. Just no pressure on you, by the way. Oh, no, no, no. The very not, first not time in 16 years, Grant. It's that fitting I brought a 16 screen. That, yeah, thank you. 16 for 16. That we're doing this live demo on nice. camera. So, hopefully, this will will be great. What, what could happen? Stuff. What could go wrong? Well, if Joe, if Joe touches it, nothing oh. could go wrong because he's got the power today. Man. Yeah, seriously. Everything you will be the power, man. fine. Okay. And now, see, or sprinkles covered. are coming out. It's, Yoda, Yoda Hector, man. Yeah. You, you got it, baby. <laughs> something's going on. Take a break. 714 at Fox Sports 940. Live. 
If you're wanting to spend more time on the water, then check out the new 2022 lineup of Sailfish Center console, dual console, and walk-around boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, and the new 272 Center console and 27 dual console continue this proud offshore heritage. With head-turning styling, top-tier construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish boats feature the legendary Deep V variable degree stepped hull, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features that make Sailfish the best value among upper tier brands. Deep gunnels, comfortable seating, roomy heads, plenty of storage, solid construction, and incredible performance all make Sailfish boats a must-see. Fishing focused and family friendly, Sailfish boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon wakeboarding with the kids, and a sunset cruise with friends, all with one boat. So if you're in the market for a new boat, the entire Sailfish line is specially priced, making this the best time to join the Sailfish family. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information or to find a Sailfish dealer near you. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're People's Insurance Underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. I love the ocean. Me? I love a slow, winding river. I love the lake. Slick as glass. But nothing compares to what you love inside the boat. My family. My child. My best friend from first grade. If you're behind the wheel of a boat, pay attention. That way your favorite water will always be safe water. Learn more about boating safety at myfwc.com. Brought to you by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. When it comes to kayak fishing, Nautical Ventures knows what you need to catch fish. They carry top brands from Hobie, Ocean, Wilderness, Old Town, Perception, Necky, and are experts in rigging your kayak. They'll customize your kayak with fishing amenities, lights, depth finders, and anything else that fits your personal fishing style. Nautical Ventures has the largest and latest selection of kayaks and accessories in stock. And you can try it before you buy it in their exclusive AquaZone. Go to nauticalventures.com for more details. Tales. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for kayak fishing. You love your boat. You love the water. But you'll love them both even more with a new Mercury V8 four-stroke outboard on the transom. The four-stroke 4.6-liter V8 powerhead delivers exhilarating acceleration and top speed with uncompromising durability and reliability. While its advanced midsection and undercowl noise management create the smoothest, quietest ride on the water, the 250 and 300 horsepower four-strokes are famous for superior hole shot and fuel efficiency. See your Mercury dealer today for the exciting 250 and 300 horsepower four-stroke outboards. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Hello, Discover here. To explain our cash back match, here's how it works. We give you cash back for using your Discover card on the things you were going to buy anyway. Then we match that cash back in your first year. And that's why we call it cash back match. Now to recap and say cash back one more time. Gentlemen, we match gentlemen, all gentlemen, the cash good back morning, good morning. In your first year. Automatically. We got a little bit of time got left, guys. If you want to say good morning, anybody? And, yeah, it's been really cool. And man. by the way, we have that Simrad unit. Besides the the picture, the video, we've got it directly connected, so our listeners can see exactly what it's putting out. So it's going to be awesome. So Elon Talbert says, "Eric, you did it." it means the fish I caught, and I did win the bet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very much, Frank Ferraro, our good media director, is watching this morning. When you get a boost, Ozzy Ochoa saying, Eric, I'll scoop you up. Oh, the fish later on. Cool. Our strongest defense against COVID. James Williams. What's up, buddy boy? I'm not sure where James is from, but that's a new name on the show. Uh, Josh D'Andrea. Good morning, dude. Very cool. 
John Bartolo. We've got a good group of guys on the show. So I'm yeah. watching this this uh, thing. So I guess your Steven's at that other camera. Wake up. Wake up, friends. Wake up. I want to wake up. I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning, baby. Wake up, 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 wake up to the sound of music. Wake up, Mr. Sleepyhead. You're waking up to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show with expert troller Eric Brandon. Here comes the king of hits. Plus extreme angler Joe Hector. This is more than we bargained for. Powered by Mercury Marine. And brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. To talk to fellow fishing fans, call 866-801-0940 or send us a message on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Welcome oh. to the show. Man, it's going to be a fun time coming up with Grant Lester from Sid Rab. we got our display here on the Facebook stream. That's now on live uh, center stage, which will be great. Grant will be coming around to uh, show us some great We're cool showing things. a little teaser of what it looks like full screen right now. This yep. thing looks freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah it definitely. It's awesome for sure, yeah. Definitely but nice. uh, nobody more awesomer than Norm Beckoff, our good friend on the finest My guy. Hi, man, Norm. Where's those cigars? Mr. Happy, Mr. Optimism, Mr. Life is Great Every Day. My kind of guy, Norm Beckoff. Hi, Norm. <laughs> What's up, gentlemen? Good morning. How are you, Norm? I'm doing just fine and dandy. Well, that's a good thing to hear. Fine and dandy's good, my friend. So, you told me, you know, I chatted last night before my phone crapped out on me uh, that things in uh, your territory weren't too bad this week. Yeah, no, it's 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 been pretty good. It still remains pretty good. Uh, the uh, the the black fin tunas are kind of the mainstay right now. Uh, we're getting fish from footballs to twenty five and thirty pounders. So Ooh. I mean, they're nice. ranging from all sizes. Thirty, huh? And yep, and Man. they're catch. We're catching them just about every way that you can, Sorry. from you know uh, jigging the live baiting to uh, trolling. So if, if uh, if you've got some little kids on the boat, this is just great fun for them, too, because they provide a lot of action and good eating. So uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. I almost thought I was going to say, if you have little kids on the boat, they make great bait. <laughs> almost sound like it was no. going there. I don't know, man. No, I, 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 <laughs> and uh, we've been seeing, we've been seeing, you know, there's been uh, quite a few sailfish around. Uh, we haven't seen quite as many wahoos or mahis, but there's, Still, some we're starting to see that you know that uh, that springtime pattern is really kicking in. Nice, right. uh, nice. Some snappers on the bottom, uh, some really big AJs up to like a hundred pounds. Uh, what? Eric's and, fish. Uh, yeah, that's still. Yep, that's still. That's no still happening. Way. And the uh, yep, and the uh, the tarpon fishing in shore is still pretty good too. Nice. Wow. I'm yeah. I'm going yeah. back to those hundred pound amberjack he's talking about. I can't just can't even fathom. Breaking Monsters, my bad man. back. It's oh. already bad already. Even worse by oh. one of them freaking mules down there, man. You fighting I mean? them for half an hour? No, or... I'd hand a rod to you, man, Mr. <laughs> Macho Man. You, uh, have, you got the guns to fight them. I don't, man. I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> Took the line. See Bye -bye. ya. <laughs> yeah. How about cobia? Any kind of like uh, cobia around or anything? We've been hearing some I, reports of that. I, I, haven't, I haven't heard or seen any fish like that around. Okay. Okay, yeah. and and the jumbos, uh, is it sporadic or is it like consistent jumbo black fins? Um, it, they're they're mixed in. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're they're mixed in. I mean, if you really want, if you're really targeting a big black fin tuna, uh, there's no better bait than a live pilchard. Right, right. You know, and if you're if you're kite fishing, you got the kites up on one side. Uh, put some pilchards out on the other on the flat lines and the down lines. There's a pretty good chance you can catch a big black man to it doing that. Nice. Uh, All nice. right. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Uh, Norm, question for you, man. Uh, when you're fishing on your boat, how much do you rely upon electronics to have your day successful spotting bottom fish and other things out there? Well, it's so important to me that I just put a uh, new Simrad Evo 3 in my boat. What? Hey. Not, yes. not because Good Grant's that. here, man, but talk about that bad boy. Why do you, why'd you pick the Simrad and how's it working for you? Um, it's, it's working really well for me. Uh, I'm really happy with it. And if That's you awesome. uh, add in the, uh, if you add in their, uh, 
the, the Seymour map. Seymour mapping, mapping. right, right, right. If you got Seymour mapping, but uh, there's also a uh, uh, there's also a three D bathymetrics chart that comes in that machine, and it's really it it. it's really an excellent machine. <laughs> Wait, yeah, you, pull your mic really up, Grant. So, Grant, ask uh, the cap a few things about that unit. You guys to kind of jaw back and forth a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, not a lot of people realize that we do include a high res bathymetric chart into the all the brand new NSS units. Wait, there was too, a big so word there. Uh, high, def, <coughs> high def, what kind of high chart? High res. High res. High definition three, yeah, uh, it's it's a 3D bathymetric 3D chart. Bathymetric. Yeah. What does bathymetric yeah. mean? Uh, in, in layman terms, it's more <coughs> of a, uh, a topographic map that gets overlaid onto your navigational chart to help you right. better pinpoint. Because you know the IQ level of at least me is very low, so keep it keep it easy for me. <laughs> hey, I've heard the, of the basomatic, but now we have basometrics. That's basometric, cool. Basometric, man. Yes. So, yeah, so, word of the day. Yeah, so, no, I'm sorry. I'm going back to you, man. So you get these devices and things on the, that help you fish and, and fish better, I guess, right? Yeah, and 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 each uh, each chart option has its use. For example, the Seymour Maps chip is is great because it really gives you highly detailed uh, uh, look at the bottom. Uh, it's really great for wrecks because we have so many wrecks here. Yep. And what's great about it is you can it actually shows you how the wreck is oriented on the bottom. Wow. How it faces, which yeah. way and which direction it faces, and that's really important, especially given the wind and the tide and everything else like that. So that's really important. Where I really like uh, the uh, the Garmin uh, software is where you're in places where you have to navigate and see charts and and have to get that chart overlay as well as looking at the bottom. Okay. okay, and that's something that Seymour Maps does not have. So there, there's there's a chart option, and then of course you can switch to Navionics. Uh, you know, there's there's all kinds of different options that you have for charts. All right, well it sounds pretty interesting to me. I mean, you guys are talking high tech here, man, which I'm not really high tech at all, <laughs> Grant. So you and you and Norm could have a, a field day talking about this all day long, man. But yeah, this is how he makes his living with these damn machines yeah. he's got going on. No, so, yeah, you know he's, what I mean? he's spot on with the charts. I mean, there's there's a use for every single chart, and there's you know no reason right. not to have all of these tools in your tool bag when right. they're efficient. So you know, and that's and, and don't be open to. Yeah, and and the thing is, is don't be don't be intimidated. A lot of guys are intimidated by the new technology. Listen, I mean, I, I was I was around when Captain Caveman was around, okay? <laughs> and I'm the last guy, I'm the last guy was, that's going to be a tech-savvy guy. Yeah. And I figured out how to update my machine. Okay. Okay, and... and it's really it's it, it's it's pretty it's pretty user friendly once you get into it. Gotcha. Well, no, we're, we're late on a break, man, but I know we have this great display coming up with Grant soon uh, to show all of us laymen here how this thing works. I yeah. Mean, you obviously hands on every day more awesome. than I am, and you and you and Brett can job about this after the show. But let's take a break here. Come back with uh, uh, Deb Dale and Jen with a forecast. But Norm, <laughs> thanks for that great insight on that on that beautiful yeah. machine you got. Thanks for using the brand we're talking about. So thanks, buddy. We appreciate it, brother. All right, take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Right. See you, How about buddy. that? Yeah. I would say to you, probably Grant, that probably ninety percent of our captains are are, are, are Simrad guys. I'm just That's guessing, Joe. Hear. What do you think? Yeah, I would. Well, I would say around that. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, I've been under boats and I've seen the units. I usually like Bouncer, for example, was a total Simrad guy. So it's probably the most dominant unit I've seen on boats. Yeah. Like that on, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, we've taken a much more aggressive approach here, specifically in Florida, so that's probably why you guys are seeing it a little bit, you know, creeping up more and more over the years. Do you, right. guys, you guys offer a group on these things, or? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Not us. <laughs> on a happy note, 728 at Fox Sports 940. Live. <laughs> Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures.
Adventures, the go-to people for Hobie. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're people's insurance underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters. South Florida fishermen know that this is blue water country, where big fish, big water, and big expectations sit right offshore. So we build blue water boats for the blue water fishermen, where yacht grade construction meets 21st century technology. And compromise? Well, we leave that for the other guys. You can customize your own blue water boat by visiting bluewatersportfishingboats.com and discover why boating is better on a blue water. Need a place to store your boat? How about a wet slip with ocean access? One with hurricane protection and a full service yard? Nautical Ventures Marine Center in the heart of Fort Lauderdale has dockage starting at just $12 per foot per month, the lowest rate in Broward County. Our full service yard performs all boat works from bottom paint to engine repower to total refits. Coming soon, a new state-of-the-art 200-unit dry stack. Go to nauticalventures.com slash marina for more information. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. I'm George Poveromo, and I've made washing and detailing my boat an art. All avoid dish soap, which quickly strips away protective wax coatings and even begins eating into the gel coat. For me, it's Starbright Boat Washes exclusively. They're specifically formulated to keep boat surfaces impeccably clean and protected without stripping wax finishes. Available in pine, citrus, and blueberry scents. Go to Starbright.com to find a retailer near you. Starbright. Clean and protect. This is a metaphor for your businesses. Gentlemen, you have a little bit of time if you want to say good morning to our fine friends and family. We well, got Facebook. so many great Facebook streamers, man. It's incredible, man. Ah, uh, pop, 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 pop. Let's see here. Nick Brent still talking to us this morning. I forgot about that. Uh, Suzanne, we got Demi. I don't can't read her last name, but yeah, we got a lot of folks who are checking us out. So thanks, guys, very much for the stream. Um, again, with this unit, um, just you know, a story behind this whole thing. Grant came out to our place of business about a week ago, and uh, got our sales guys together and showed this unit to us. And you know, being the older guy of the three reps, even I could figure it out. So that's saying a whole lot, you know what I mean? Yeah. And this is in a demo it's, mode right now, so this is not real conditions, but this is kind of demo mode to show you the no, it's just of showing the bottom structure of your deck, man. What do you think? It's, <laughs> you know, like hello. But also, let's face it, I think, you know, being user-friendly, especially in today's times, listen, people are lazy, right? They want something easy to use. That's what's great about that. I don't, I don't that. want to read a manual. That's my thing. Yeah. Well, and that's what's great about this. It makes it so easy. Look what yeah. Norm said, for yeah, exactly. instance. exactly. I mean, everybody's used to running their, you know, their their iPhone or smartphone or whatever it is, and they're used to how fast and responsive those are. So right. They yeah. Use on the boat, they want that to match. Exactly. What's on yes. the boat? Exactly. Now, I did see some YouTube videos. I did a little research and watch the unit, so it's very easy to find a tutorial on YouTube. Yeah. So if you don't want to read a manual like me, Joe, or whatever, I'm not sure you're a manual guy. I'll go to YouTube. I'm and, not. I throw them and away. check. You throw them away. Yeah. yeah. See, there you go. Yeah. Thumbs up that thing. I'll forget that man. I ain't buying a damn <laughs> right. unit with a manual, man. Yeah. Right. So. And the thing is also, there's a new thing now. If you buy a unit, Grant will come to your home personally and oh. talk you the whole unit, man. Okay, Yes, sir. So that's a whole new promotion they got going that's on. That's great. Isn't that great, Joe? Yeah. Isn't he a giving guy? They, have, clo- they have clone technology. He's been cloned. So any, any house. Hey, uh, Eric. Go you get a Grant. St- Eric, go straight to Deb. No Jen. Straight to Eric. No Deb. No Deb? Uh, no, 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 straight to Deb. No Jen. Straight okay. to Deb. No Jen. Okay. Cool. Thanks for the heads up. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool, man. I mean, uh, I, I I can't fathom fishing without a unit, especially South Florida waters. You yeah. Have some help down there, man. There's so many you wrecks. Know, Danny Ramos has got the same unit on his boat. Oh, he does? Yeah. And he, oh, okay. he showed me how it works. I couldn't sleep at all last night. I didn't sleep well last night. Because lately I've been losing sleep. Oh, you're going to sleep. I can't sleep at night. It's hard 
to sleep on Friday night thinking about fishing on Saturday. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Powered by Mercury Marine and brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. To talk fishing, call Eric Brandon and Joe Hector at 866-801-0940. Listen on the radio or watch us on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, we tried Jen with the weather forecast. She's going to be tied up with the kitties this morning, so it's not a problem because she sent me a live screenshot. Deb Dale, the keys, is on the water currently right now in right. her boat live. Right. Looking While at, you're playing with your bubbles. While I'm playing with my bubbles. <laughs> and she's looking at a Simran unit right in front of her. Nice. Love to hear it. What a way to start the day. What a way to start the day, huh? Deb, good morning to you. Yeehaw, boys. How's it going? <laughs> Grant, you never met uh, Deb, but Deb, Grant, Grant, Deb, uh, she's got a Simran on her boat. She's in the bay currently. I think you were actually seeing her feed. She goes, yeah, she's in a key somewhere. This guy's so damn tuned in, man. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. But Deb, where are you, mama? I am in Key Largo. I'm sitting in the creek. I had to hide from the wind, even though it says it's not windy. It is offshore. I was going to try to take the skiff offshore this morning, and that wasn't going to work. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I made that turn. Yeah. <laughs> and well, how's, how's your fisherman this week? What's been catching? It's been good. Uh, reef bite's really hot. You know, um, the yellowtail are getting ready to go into spawn. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see some of your bigger tails at your wrecks and your reefs. Right. And, you know, I was catching four or five pound fish earlier in the week. So very, very good, good yellowtailing right now. Um, blackfin tuna, we've been seeing a lot of bigger one of those. Then I was on the flats yesterday and bone fishing is really good. Called multiple species. So, you know, fishing's hot right now. If you're not in the Keys, you should be. Great. Love to be in the Keys, but we're doing a radio show here in uh, the backyard of Stephen <laughs> J. Gray's home. So that ain't going to happen. <laughs> how's, the, uh, how's the jumbo tunas? I hear they're, they're uh, pretty hot. They are, um, uh, you know, jigging at the humps and also on live baits and the guys that are still kite fishing for shellfish, not a good day for that today, but, you know, um, when it was windy. We haven't been on the water last two days. Um, we had a, a gust of 48 miles an hour at Alligator Reef in Alvarado. Wow. wow. So y'all didn't say the wind was blowing. It was. <laughs> oh, um, man. <laughs> Damn. It's blowing, baby. It's blowing. 48? Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> gusty. Man, forget about it. Yeah. Uh, stay home weather. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, bay fishing wise, Deb, uh, is it, things are happening with what, some Spanish max down there, maybe some snookies. I mean, what's what's happening? Right. Yeah. I'm sitting back here in the creek. I'm actually on South Creek, and I came back here looking for bait and uh, saw a really, really big snook. So, that's really good to see this close to the house. So, yeah. Um, fishing is. Is, is the water temperatures good? And, you know, we had that blow for the past couple days, and I think that's made some fish want to move around today and tomorrow. So definitely, definitely I'd be fishing. Okay. Which I am. Talk about, your, <laughs> talk about Joe and I want to know your progress of your big boat, that bad looking yeah. thing. Yeah. What's going on with that big, beautiful machine you got going on? Yeah. So the Blue Water Girl, as you know, we're in the boat yard, um, you know, still. And because, you know, we are in the boat boat yard we've had to push the um the splash date back another week i found a few things i wasn't too happy about and i want to make sure that they get done while i'm on the card before i you know splash her and then have to pull her back out so right. definitely working on those few things so it looks like about a week um you know we're securing a slip over key largo fisheries in key largo so all that's getting done and guess what i got two brand new simrad units on the new boat <laughs> Man, nice. oh man, I mean, this is not like a shameless plug for Simrad because Grant's here, but geez, you're making me happy. <laughs> Good that is stuff. awesome, Deb. What's up? What you Yeah, and I, oh, right now. and I tell you, I tell you what, you know, I, I'm a I'm a big Simrad user. I have been. I've got one on my flat boat. I've got a, a nine inch on my flat boat. I have two twelves on my big boat. Nice. And if you live in Florida, you really need to get the upgrade of Florida Marine Tracks. It, it is, it's pretty much like driving over Google Earth when you have Simrad. And it's a chip that you buy, and it lays over the maps, and it is amazing. You can go anywhere. You don't have to worry about running the ground as long as you, you know, and it's satellite done. So this really, really good, and it's helped me from running the ground in the bay for sure. 
Well, Grant, uh, talk to them a little bit. We have a few seconds before we have to make the break here. Talk about how they, you guys interact and, and what she's doing with yeah, that Yeah, I mean, it just goes back to saying, you know, you want to have all the tools in your toolbox. You know, make sure you can catch all those fish. And Florida Marine Track just integrates seamlessly onto our units. And in the skiff market, it's a game changer down in the lower keys, upper keys. That's a chip? Talk about a chip, right? Yeah, yeah, chip. Okay. Throw it into the unit, preloads it automatically, and... The, the team that's developed that chip has run all safe passages and marks them with lines on the chart so you know where you can and can't run. Cool. You can see all the shoals. You can nice. see all the breaks, you know, yeah. where the current's running through and all that. All the different pilings. And, he, you know, he marks danger zones. So after storms, you see where the oh, really? mangroves split off. So, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty in-depth map. So it's even like, Joe, I mean, like sunken garbage or somebody may lose a boat down there or whatever else, it'll actually warn you of that? Below the, if below he's water. gone out there and mapped it recently and made any changes to the charts, yeah, absolutely. Okay. He'll, he'll show it or he'll mark it at least on the chart. I think it's cool. more important, Joe, is uh, market fish. I don't care about damn garbage in the water. I want to look for a damn you fish. You want fish? I want fish like you, That's right? Do, man, right? Uh, yeah. Come of on. course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, what's cool about mine is I have down scan and side scan, and then I have sonar on the big boat. But I have a 2K transducer on my flats boat. Oh, good <laughs> lord. Talking about, like, what? Talking about high <laughs> death, man. Uh, Holy I crud. Fish a lot. Yeah, I fish a lot offshore in my skiff. I don't know why. It's just one of those things that I really like to do. I like to reef fish and be on the reef. Little boat, big fish, something about that. So, um, yeah, but. I absolutely love my system, and, and I wouldn't trade it for the world, that's for sure. All right, so cool. like something Joe might want to do a Star Trek uh, Captain Kirk impression on. I've got this <laughs> Simrad unit. <laughs> Come on, Joe, do, do it. Uh, I gotta get in the. Do a I gotta, get, I gotta get in the moment, you know, you know, for my Captain Kirk. This unit's going to beam me uh, up to uh, I don't know somewhere. He can't do it. Bring me fish. Bring me fish. It's not like you, man. Oh man, you got Kirk down to a science, man. Uh, yeah, there's uh, a Simrad I, on the wing. Some. Thing. That's <laughs> what I was waiting on. I'll give you that. There you go. <laughs> Deb, we'd love you to death. Go out and do your thing. Uh, b- that big, beautiful boat's going to be launched soon. We can't wait to hear about that thing get on the water. And you're just going to a whole brand new level. This is amazing. Really yeah, serious. Yeah, definitely. You know? Yeah, I'm so excited about it. You know, and it's it definitely is. I get to I get a boat to go out and play with the big boys. <laughs> so awesome. I'm, well, I'm excited about that. Let's let's go race some fish, y'all. And I know that we'd like to get on board, uh, Joe, myself, and Steve. Yes. We'd love to be on that boat with you one day and fish with you in person and uh, just experience the whole Deb Deo thing because I'm just looking forward to that thing getting on the water. It's gonna be awesome, Joe. Right? I can't wait. Can't wait to go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> If you show Joe, it's quite I'm going to go. The if, fish with me, that's for sure. If, if, I'm going. If you show Joe, oh, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I will go. Hey, but at least Eric brought his rod today. I did. That's true. And, and I caught a bass. So, uh, so if you call it that, so now they're I off guess. my. I caught a bass and they're off my ass. I know, right? Okay, thank you very much. So you caught a. Yeah, it wasn't a very big bass, but it got me off the hundred dollar deal I had to pay you. Yeah, for. he was you. freaking out. I, that. I didn't see even. I didn't even see him catch that fish. Uh, maybe Elon threw it down the lake for him. You Whatever, know? Yeah. man. Goodbye, Stephen. <laughs> have, have a great weekend. We love you to death. Thanks so much. Yeah, okay? Captain Deb. All Thanks, right. Deb. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. See ya. Just so you know, Grant, uh, the next feature is called the Nautical Ventures Toy Chest, okay? And uh, Nautical Ventures uh, is a humongous, humongous dealer of boats and kayaks and yep. water toys, etc. And I'd say about every single boat they sell is Simrad equipped. Yeah. So uh, it's called the Nautical Ventures Toy Chest. Every weekend we may have a, a jet-powered uh, surfboard, uh, a special kayak, whatever else. So your unit actually is the spotlight in the toy chest segment. Beautiful. Huh? That's so great. the high pressure's on you, bro, to come and deliver. No Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. When is that? Soon? Uh, like next. Oh. At Fox Sports. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Live. <laughs> If you're wanting to spend more time on the water, then check out the new 2022 lineup of Sailfish Center console, dual console, and walk-around boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, and the new 272 Center console and 27 dual console continue this proud offshore heritage. With head-turning styling, top-tier construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish boats feature the legendary deep V variable degree stepped hull, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features that make Sailfish the best value among upper 
upper tier brands. Deep gunnels, comfortable seating, roomy heads, plenty of storage, solid construction, and incredible performance all make Sailfish boats a must-see. Fishing focused and family friendly, Sailfish boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon wakeboarding with the kids, and a sunset cruise with friends, all with one boat. So if you're in the market for a new boat, the entire Sailfish line is specially priced, making this the best time to join the Sailfish family. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information or to find a Sailfish dealer near you. Nothing beats the thrill of extreme kayak fishing with little standing between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. You have two missions in life. Go fast and catch fish. The 3.0 liter, 150 horsepower Mercury Pro XS will take care of going fast so you can take care of catching fish. On freshwater or salt, 150 Pro XS is tuned to power mid-sized boats to the limit. Pull shot and top speed are incredible thanks to the lowest weight, highest displacement in the category and transient spark technology that optimizes spark timing. Talk with your Mercury dealer today about the Mercury 150 horsepower Pro XS. Hear that? That's the sound of confidence. The sound of confidence brought to you by Nationwide Battery. For over 30 years, boaters and fishermen have counted on Nationwide to fire up their engines, to keep their electronics going, week after week, year after year. They have the largest selection of batteries at the best prices. With dockside installation available, if you count on your boat, then count on Nationwide Battery. Visit them at nationwide-battery.com. Nationwide Batteries, the sound of confidence. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Is your boat properly insured? When's the last time your agent called to discuss your policy? We're People's Insurance Underwriters, and boat insurance as you know it is about to change. We understand how the right insurance agent can make the difference in getting your claim paid or not. Our agents are lifelong boaters whose focus is on service, reliability, and savings. We can make a difference in your boat insurance. To learn more, go to thehappyboating.com. People's Insurance Underwriters. Insurance for boaters, by boaters iHeartRadio Earth is here. You have a little bit of time, last chance to say good morning to our fine friends and family here on Facebook and all the great streamers. Thank you guys very much. I want to give a great plug to People's Insurance Underwriters, Jose and Jackie DeBossa. Thank you guys for being a great sponsor on the program. Oh, yeah. What a super quick quote, man. TheHappyBoating.com. And Joe, you showed us before on your phone how easy it is. You just push the... Uh, User-friendly. Push that quote yep. button and boom, man. Very important nowadays. Yeah, man. Yes, insurance, sir. they won't over-insure you. They'll give you the right policy for the right boat Good you're people. In. And yep. I've turned a lot of my clients on them, and they're very happy. So check them out, man. TheHappyBoating.com. Boom. Great sponsors uh, on the show. Um, I'm happy to say that Simrad will be on board soon to join your great sponsor, Fish Brain. Yeah, yeah. Great congrats, Joe, by the way, bringing those great folks on. We're happy to Thanks. have them, man. Yeah, we uh, recently, I, I work with Austin with Fish Brain. Uh, I've worked with them for years, actually. And uh, we kind of just teamed up and thought that this would be really good for, for all of us. Because so, no. they're also going to be with the tournament as well. So what a great it'll sponsor, be a man. two-in-one kind of thing. And yeah. um, we're excited to have them. We're happy to have them, man. So yeah. it's part of the family. It's awesome, man. Yeah, definitely. So uh, the pressure's on you, Grant. You'll be the superstar coming up next, man. Okay, I promise nice. you, I won't, I'm going to blow bubbles uh, around <laughs> your unit, which I did a minute ago. <laughs> are these things should water, that make sure that mic is close waterproof, on him? by the way? Yeah, 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 they have a really high water rating. All right, one more time, man. Bring your mic a little bit closer. Like, 
higher? Or? It's, uh, closer to your, to your mouth. There you go. Right there? There you go. Perfect. That's perfect, yeah. yeah. These things are very, like, directional. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Should I give you a class at Mike Houston? You teach me how the SimRed works? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> You're catching all the fish because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. Catch all the fish. Drink all the beer. Hang it down. Stay here. With your hosts, two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln, an easy way to car. You're just the guy I want to see. Glad you're here. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly. Fisherman Show. Yeah, last big segment of the program every week. It's called the Nautical Ventures Toy Chest. Stephen J. Gray, if you would, sir, open that bad boy up. It's about as creaky as I am. There you go. <laughs> That's no lie. That's no damn lie. Special guest on the show today, Grant Lester from Simrad, has been kind enough to show up on the show and show us live time. How this NSS Evo 3S does its thing. Did I get that name correct? You got it right. Spot on. That's amazing. You've been good with that today. It's amazing for me, man, to get that yeah, right. <laughs> but, uh, Grant, it's all you, my friend. Tell cool. the audience what you brought, uh, what it does, and show us some things, bro. Yeah, man. So, uh, I brought our NSS unit. It falls in the middle middle of our product line, and it's probably the, the, the workhorse of our entire product list that we offer with Simrad Electronics. Okay. So, a little bit about it. Um... Full 1KW sounders, right into the back of the unit. Remember, so, keep it lame yep. terms. So the average a lot of the custom guy like me. Okay, right. Thank so you. 1KW means that tra- uh, you can do easy transducer plugins right into the back, and customers don't have to get crazy with sounder boxes or anything accessories or things like that. So okay. a lot of the deeper deeper water fishermen doing any deep drop tile fish grouper and stuff like that can run deucer straight to the back of the unit. Very cool. But okay. a little bit more in depth to it. What I wanted to show is the simplicity of the unit itself. Please. So the operating system is going to be very familiar to a lot of customers based on what they carry in their pockets. Okay. So we show off little tile icons where one button press to get to, one, to anything you want. So okay. if you want to jump to your chart, quick press to the chart, boom. and boom, you're there. Yeah. It's pinched to zoom like your phone. All right. This model here is a hybrid touch and button. So you do have a rotary knob that you can can navigate. So let's say your fish, Joe, or kind of your fingers are all full of fishy juice and you've been, you know, catching bait and whatever. whatever. If you touch that screen with your fingers are all schmegged up, you can actually use the manual dial. Absolutely. Yeah. As a backup or as opposed to the touch screen. And more people will end up using this knob when it in rougher conditions. That's okay. what that's what more guys are leaning towards. Okay. And so you can stabilize your hand on the dash, use the rotary knob, you can navigate to and from all your icons from the home screen and everything oh, like that. Very cool. Oh, Click cool. it in and boom you're on the next tile. Okay. So that's that's a very nice feature right there. Nice. Going Go ahead, please. Okay. Going going in, we have a very easy split screen setup right here on the on the uh, right side of the unit. Okay. It stores up to 10 customized split screens that anybody can make. You hit the little plus button, and you just drag and drop. All right, there you go. Okay, drag and drop. So like super that. easy. You can do up to four screens at once, and then you can flip-flop whichever ones you want to put in whatever corner. <laughs> I, I can see your daughter, Mia, Joe. These colors are so cool. Ooh, she would just bling, love, bling, she love to play with it. Cause it <laughs> it's got a very colorful thing to it. It's really neat looking. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. The colors, colors pop on this thing. Well, so what's new about this unit is... Not only does it look identical to our Evo 3 units, which is the generation prior to it, but the internals have changed. So okay. with the upgraded processor, that cu- that customer is going to get a much crisper image. So okay. the colors are going to pop. The sounder, you're going to be able to ping things a lot better right. and, and visibly see the changes on the screen because of that. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking, Joe, you and I, when you have guys offshore fishing your kayak series, isn't plotting your courses and knowing how to get where the hell oh, you're yeah. Very be important. One of the most important parts of... of Very important. Unit. I mean, yes. so... Well, I would say 90% of our guys have units. As opposed to just looking at bottom structure, they want to get back and forth or where they want to go, right? right. So, Grant, what's our, our thing about plotting courses on this bad boy? Yeah, so you got two options that you can do. You can do a point A to point B straight line course, which is just, you know, you press and hold on the screen. You get new. I'm sorry. Hit go to. Okay. Go to cursor. That's a straight line. That's good if the guys are in open water okay. and they want to go, you know, to a certain island or whatever it is. Right. Um, I'm going to cancel this guy. We also have plotting a route. 
So if you want to hit new, all right, new route, you can put in all your turns. So if we're going to come into here, all right. So again, it's, it's very user friendly to me, Joe. But what I'm seeing here looks like something Easy. Any, anybody can really do. You know? Yeah, yeah. Now I know we're getting a little short on time, Grant. No uh, one of the most important things to me, Joe, I know to all of us is, is I want to catch a fish and see what the hell's happening down in the bottom, man. I'm going to look for a wreck or a rock ledge or whatever else. That is where I'm going to spot the towel fish and the grouper and all those bottom 100%. pelagics. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. So what's nice too on our on our echo units, you know, you can come in. And you can mess with your palette colors. Okay. Change all that. But we have a nice hidden feature down at the bottom that not a lot of people know about. It's called bottom color. Bottom color. Okay. That solidifies the entire ground. So all the hard bottom that your sounder is pinging solidifies at one color. And then we'll use the sonar technology to help highlight what's just above it. Are these actually, Joe, am I reading this thing with you, right? Are those actually rock ledges and, and bottom ledges and stuff? I mean, you're showing on the screen right now? Yeah, Office. right here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So okay. that's why it fills it in. Yeah. Exactly. So off the simulator, how we mapped this and put the sonar like into this was actual, you know, hills and, and uh, different. All right. Well, show me the 80 pound grouper. I don't see it on the screen there. Where is it? It's going to be right, right, about the, there. right in that corner. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Yeah. And give Joe, spot Joe the 100 pound amberjack on the screen. Well, uh, that, that's I coming think up. He's in this little area right there. <laughs> so go ahead. Some, we have like a minute here, Grant. So just do a little summation of this whole unit and, and why should, folks should do this and why it's the best in the market. So you get your nice hybrid touch and buttons. You get the versatility of being able to run it in calm conditions, rough conditions. You get the, all the nice features. The screen's visible from any angle, wearing sunglasses, wearing whatever. Very responsive to touch when your fingers are wet, covered in fish, covered in sunscreen, whatever it is. Right. And uh, all around just a much, much easier unit to use. By the way, it has HDMI out, so you can feed it to other monitors on your boat or yacht as well, too. Yes, it does. Thank you, Stephen Jay Gray. Very That's nice. how everybody is watching this fine feed at home right now. That's oh. where they're watching the feed and where they're doing. Yeah. So again, these are uh, available to order online or through your local uh, boat manufacturer, or go obviously through Nautical Ventures. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. We got them in stock and ready to ship. You're the man, dude. We're awesome. Wrap this bad boy up, but uh, again, Grant Lester, give him a round of applause. Man. Yeah. Huh? Awesome. Good Great stuff. Great on the old toy chest. Uh, the Grant, thanks for making the trip up here, bro. You're the man, dude. Yeah, really enjoyed having you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. And you and Joe know the same people, so it's been one happy family out here, man. Oh, yes, yeah. Joe, we got to rock. Get the hell out of here, man. So uh, thank you, Joe Hector, my yep. man, my partner. Grant Lester, thank you. Stephen Jack Gray, you're the man, you crazy-ass guy you are. Back in the studio, Eric, thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. Keep it right here all day long for Sports Talk, the one, the only. Fox Sports, 940. Live. Baby.